How does a heat meter work? When you live in a building where heating and hot water are supplied through a heat network, your property might have a heat meter device installed. This heat meter will be installed near the point where the heat network pipes enter your home, or may be installed within a heat interface unit, which controls your supply of heat and hot water in a similar way to a traditional boiler. If you have hot water supplied separately, you might also have a separate hot water meter, which works just like any water meter and measures the volume of hot water you use, normally in cubic meters, which is 1000 liters. So why do heat meters not just measure the volume of hot water used in your property? On a heat network, you are using the heat or thermal energy from the water in the heat network. You are not using the actual water. There is a hotter flow pipe going into your property and a cooler return pipe that leaves, which takes the water back to be reheated and redistributed. The heat meter measures the amount of thermal energy you have used from the hot water flowing into your property. It does this by measuring the temperature of the water in the flow pipe and in the return pipe and working out the difference between the two. It then multiplies this temperature difference by the flow rate of water as well as the thermal coefficient of the water in the heat network. So once we have the temperature difference and flow rate, the heat meter can calculate an energy value which is displayed on the meter in kilowatt hour. With a heat meter, you will only pay for the heat or the thermal energy you actually use. This is a fair and transparent way of being billed for your consumption. Want to know more about tariffs or how a heat network works? Get in touch with our team.